On 60 Minutes last night, we saw Meryl Streep talking about playing former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in the new movie called The Iron Lady. But there was more to that interview that you didn't see last night. We have it for you this morning, though. This is a clip from 60 Minutes Overtime on CBSNews.com. And in it, the Oscar winner talks with Morley Safer about some of her greatest co-stars. I want to talk about some of the leading men. Just give me a, a thumbnail description of each of them and how it was to work with them. Uh, Robert De Niro on The Deer Hunter. We were shooting in a trailer in Weirton, West Virginia. Uh, Vilmos Zygmunt, the cinematographer, had stripped down to his, I'm sorry to say, Speedo underpants. Mm -hmm. It was 110. I had a wool mohair sweater on, and the makeup man had to come in and mop. Let me take your coat. De Niro oh. never was broke. There a bead of sweat in a full marine dress uniform. Unbelievable. He has control over his, <laughs> yeah. Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> Dustin. Dustin shocked me because we were shooting a scene. Yes, look, okay. you're gonna have to do what you're gonna have to do and right. I'm gonna have to do what I'm I'm very doing. sorry about this. Okay. My wine glass was sitting there and he just, with his hand, you know, brushed it so that it whizzed by my nose and broke on the wall and little pieces of glass. And then, in, in another scene, he slapped me. And, you, and when I see the movie, I see the imprint of his hand on the thing, not in the take that they used, but I still see the hand from the previous take. So that was like a trial by fire. I thought, ew. Maybe this is the method or something. <laughs> but I think he's very, very gifted. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had on a film. Kevin Klein and Sophie's Choice. I remember coming home from that experience and saying to my husband, we can't do anything wrong. It's like, you know, you, you have, when you make a movie, you have a good day, you have a bad day. You think, oh. I hope they reshoot that whole day because I sucked or, you know. With this ring, I betrothed myself to you. It was a really wonderful experience. And you also did theater with Kevin Klein. That's a different story. That's, he does try to um, upstage me. <laughs> <laughs> I've spoken to him about it. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. <laughs> well, if you like to laugh, you know, which I do, you like to work with Jack. This is pure, pure pleasure. This evening has been so happy that you so dropped. Look out enough. the window <laughs> at the storm. Huh? Funny man off camera. A funny man. Generous man, smart man. Yeah, all those things. Clint Eastwood. How many more have you got there? Well, only a few. <laughs> One more, two uh, more. Clint was uh, the man that I've worked with that most of the other men were most intimidated by. I'm not out of date, am I? I haven't picking flowers for a woman, a sign of appreciation? No, not at all, except those are poisonous. <laughs> Which was not by virtue of anything he did, but by what he didn't do. He made no unnecessary gesture. He never raised his voice except for once. He's an instinctive, effortless filmmaker. Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Janie, could I talk to you for a quick sec? He always needs me for a quick sec. <laughs> well, one I like, and the other one I don't like at all. But you'll have to guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they'll be worried. <laughs>